What's up creative people, Mike McAllister here with another Lemon Squeezy 101 video where I share all kinds of tips and tricks to help you get your digital product store off the ground so you can start making money online. We're only a few videos into the 101 series, but there's going to be a lot more coming soon, including a series where I launch a product from scratch on the Lemon Squeezy platform. So please subscribe if you want to follow along as we learn to launch some awesome products together. Uh, today I want to dig into the storefront feature of Lemon Squeezy. If you're not familiar, every store you launch comes with a customizable landing page where you can showcase your products in a beautiful product grid. Uh, this is super handy if you don't have a website yet or maybe you don't even need a website based on the kinds of products you create. Um, instead, you can send customers directly to your storefront page where they can see all of your products in one spot and make purchases there. So without further ado, let's hop into the Lemon Squeezy app and start designing our storefront. As you can see here, I'm in my Lemon Squeezy dashboard, uh, but before we hop into customizing our storefront, let's go ahead and take a look at what the store looks like currently. There's, the free, there's a few ways to do that. You can click the um, I up here in the upper right hand corner and also down here uh, in our store switcher and store settings uh, menu. There's also a link, so let's go ahead and click that. As you can see here, it's just a nice little landing page with all of our products. And when you click through to a product, you go to the product checkout page. Um, but otherwise, it's just a, a, a page with a, a header, an avatar, and some uh, store information. But we can customize this to kind of match our brand. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm going to hop back over to the Lemon Squeezy dashboard and click the design link. As you can see here, I'm looking at the same page we were just looking at. This is a live preview. Um, so when we make changes here on the left, they'll show up here on the right. So let's go ahead and look at some of the settings. Uh, you have an option to disable your store if you'd like. Um, and when you do that, you have the option to send customers instead to a custom URL when they hit your Lemon Squeezy URL. Um, but for this demo, let's go ahead and keep this on. And let's start with a header. Let's add a cool header image here. So I'm going to click that and upload this header image I found. Uh, if you're looking for um, some cool images to use for header images, you might go to a site like unsplash.com. Uh, they have a lot of free, high quality uh, images there, photography. That's actually where I found this cool image here and I use it all the time. So that looks pretty sweet. Let's stick with that. And now let's look at the store logo. As you can see, I can turn this on and off. Um, and right now it's just kind of using a little placeholder uh, with a D based on our store name, but we can actually customize this with our own am, uh, avatar. But to do that, let's go ahead and click publish changes. We need to change that in the uh, store settings. So I'm gonna hop back out real quick and go down here and go to store settings and click choose. And let's upload our lemon squeezy avatar. Okay, now we have that. Let's go back into the design page. And as you can see here, we have our awesome Lemon Squeezy avatar uh, loaded and ready to go. Moving on, we have a store name. As you can see, we'll leave that on and a store description. Uh, this is just a nice little uh, spot to, to describe your store with some text. And next we have a pretty awesome feature, uh, show subscribe form. So when I turn this on, you see I have uh, an email capture form here, which is awesome. So that means that uh, customers and just any visitors that are coming by uh, can subscribe to my email list and I can notify them when I have new products out uh, or any other kind of marketing in the future. Um, but to, um, I should mention that you won't be able to uh, toggle this on unless in your settings here, I'm gonna go back to my store settings one more time. And you see at the bottom here, I have MailChimp connected. So you just need to, to step through uh, the setup here and connect either MailChimp or ConvertKit. It's super easy, it just takes a few steps. And then once you, uh, once you have that, um, this uh, show subscribe form will uh, be able to toggle on and you'll, you'll see that there. Uh, moving on here, we have the option to customize our thumbnail sizes. So as you can see here, I can go smaller. Uh, to, to put up a four grid here. Uh, the medium was three, large is two. And then finally you can do full uh, images. This might be cool if you have some really cool uh, stock photography that you wanna show off or just need a little more real estate for your product images. But let's keep it at medium for now. And then finally we have the option to show product details. And when I turn that on, 
you can see that we get a slightly different display here. It's kind of a more full uh, product display with some more uh, text here describing our products and some buttons. Kind of gives it more of a full kind of website feel. Um, and so let's go ahead and publish those changes. And now let's look at our storefront. As you can see here, it looks a lot cooler. It's more customized to our style, our brand. We have our header, our avatar, our store information, email subscribe form, and those cool full um, product descriptions. So that's it. I mean, this is uh, just V1 of uh, storefronts. I'm curious to see what you folks come up with, what kind of styles you, you uh, end up using on your site. Um, you know, this is gonna be expanded in the future with more templates and uh, more layouts to give you uh, even cooler designs in the future. So uh, I hope this was helpful. Um, again, stay tuned for more videos from the Lemon Squeezy 101 series, a lot more in the pipeline, and uh, we'll see you next time.